Basically for me, I was, like, I was like in the two halves. Um, I think the first half, you know, we done well to get it up 1-0, for being honest with you. Um, you know, they had a lot of play, a lot of attack and play, which we expected from them. Um, it, was, it was actually good and encouraging to get in at half time 1-0. Um, and, and for me, it showed us, you know, that the, the group of boys in there had a wee bit about them, you know, to get in there at 1-0 because they could have chucked it, you know, because it was, it, it was attack after attack. Second half thought we were a lot better, sort of created the better chances. Keeper made a brilliant save from Charlie's effort, the near post, and then so was a couple more chances after that. But we're disappointed, but we'll keep our heads up. We'll have to take confidence from that. We've been toe to toe with one of the best countries in the world, so just keep going. That's all we can do. Yeah, it's always great to test yourself against the best. That's why we want to be here. I want to play in these games. So it's all us three in midfield done quite well, especially second half when we got up to them and sort of sussed it out a wee bit more. So it was the first half we didn't get as much of the ball, but second half we got more of the ball and we got to play a wee bit more and create a few more chances, so it was good. A group of boys, yes, I've said to them after the game, 100% they'd be absolutely disappointed. You know, we did say before the game, you know, about not having any regrets. I know our boys and now we'll have some regrets. I know that because they've seen the second half, they've seen that the, you know, when they get higher up the pitch, you know, when they, when they take a game to, to France, when they can get on their faces, when they can press them aggressively, um, and, and, and they've created chances, they've created opportunities. And if that doesn't give you belief, then I don't know what will. We're all disappointed because we want to win games, especially the first game. It's tough to a defeat, but all we can do is pick ourselves up. We've always said one game at a time mentality, so that game's parked now. We'll go on to the next one, Romania and Saturday. Another big game, we'll go and try and get three points there. It's, it's quick turnarounds, you know, we got to look, we'll assess the, the, the group um, tonight and tomorrow. Uh, we'll debrief them in the morning um, with, the, with the game tonight and then it's, it's, it's done, it's, it's, it's moved on, you know, so we're, we're getting ready now for Romania. Um, and, and again, it's a completely different, different game plan, completely different setup, obviously completely different opposition. Um, they have lost today and I'm sure they'll be looking to, to get a response from, from losing today, so we got to be ready for that. But we'll, we'll take care of our own business, you know. I've got a really good backroom staff here um, in terms of coaching staff, in terms of medical, in terms of strength and conditioning. You know, our analysts, Max, Big G, Andy, you know, it, it's just non stop, as you know. And we'll get to work when we go back here this evening and, and we'll, um, we'll start looking at this game, put it to bed, and then get ready for, for the next game.